over, and I was majorly looking forward to hanging with my friend Dee. Dee! I'm so psyched about our sleepover. We can do complete makeovers. I have this great fruit acid mask. And then we can try those new lipsticks, velvet gloss, and metallic fan. Cher, I'm sorry. I have to be with Murray. He's way traumatized about his new driver's license picture. Are you canceling on me again? Cher, I would love to try the new violets, but when your man needs you, sometimes you just have to sacrifice. I know, but... What about last Saturday? I got his backstage passes to Bush, and at the last minute, you punked. I ended up having to go with Josh, who totally embarrassed me by stomping on his chair. Well, I was book solid all week with midterms, and Murray needed my attention. Well, I can empathize, but it just seems like our plans keep getting canceled. We'll hang tomorrow night at Lilia's party. It'll be the kickiness, okay? Okay. She's love, she's love, she's in my head. She's love, she's love, she's love, she might be dead. Mmm, culinary delight. Smoking lime Kool-Aid and used pinata candy. Man, if this party don't start jumping, we're out. Poor Lilia. The party tragically was a Titanic. And I wasn't even getting to spend any quality time with Dee. Crash and burn. I mean, hiring a band of a supermarket bulletin board? I don't think so. No. Murray's the only one dancing. And only if she'd mentioned it were a costume party. Hey, you guys! Here. Hey, Amber, that's a slamming costume. Excuse me, it's an Anna Sui. My bad. I thought you was Big Bird. You dog! I saw you bump into Miko on the dance floor for all to see. Listen, it's all about me. I was just getting my groove on. Oh, yeah, right. Like, this band plays Lump better than the President's. I so believe that. Can I help it if my terpsichorean skills are so inspiring that others seek to study my artistry? Terpsichorean? As if. That was the most copious assemblage of bovine elimination. What did she say? She doesn't believe him. Look, woman, I can't inhibit my moves to suit your jealous nature. <laughs> nice smile. Looks just like your driver's license picture. Oh. Come on, let's hear it. The apology. Okay. I look, but it's not my fault. See, Nabushi, she was on my southeast, right? And uh, she was wearing that compulsion cologne, which caused my nasovascular allergies to start acting up. And so, naturally, I turned northeast, right? And that's where the brightness of these jack-o'-lanterns here were in danger of damaging my retina. So I turned to Tamika's coordinates, you know? You misinterpreted that as some favorable reaction to her. <laughs> Come on, girl, you know I love you. Just dance. Dee and Murray's fight saved Lilia's party. Their fights always have the perfect balance of conflict, humor, and passion. I guess I should try to spend more time with my other friends. Cher, are you bumming? Do you want to watch me dance? And Murray said that there were these three girls on this north-south corner, and then Dee said that he was convalescing. Well, I'm glad you had another substantial weekend. Well, excuse me for living. I'm just trying to bond with you. Great. We could bond plenty when I see you in class. What? Oh, yeah. Didn't Miss Geist tell you? I'm speaking to your social studies class today. You know, about pre-law studies and stuff. Have you no mercy? Excuse me. I happen to be a distinguished alumnus. She called and asked me to speak. Well, maybe she was calling and asking to speak to Dad, and you just happened to answer the phone. Oh, this is going to be worse than the time I forgot my lunch in second grade, and you totally embarrassed me by telling that stupid knock-knock joke. Ooh, yeah, maybe I could loosen them up with a couple of jokes. No! I'm kidding. I relax. At first, I thought they were really fighting. Well, that's what they do. They're the fighting couple. Everybody knows it's perfectly harmless unless... Unless what? Unless Murray crosses the line and rags on her butt. Her butt? Are you kidding? She's perfect. I know, but you can't tell her that. 
girls. <laughs> Murray and I had the most stellar weekend. And here's the late breaking. Murray wasn't afraid to cry in front of me at the movies. Oh, you are so mesh. Intertwined. This is such an epic romance. I'm going to enter him in Sassy's My Guy contest. Dude, he's a lock. I know. But I haven't been able to find him. He got his braces off this morning. And now that he's hardware free, he's perfect. We're officially the perfect couple. declare this meeting of the math club adjourned. Murray, I've been waiting for you for four hours to see you on Braces Liberation Day and you're flaunting your pearlies to these dental groupies? Baby, it's not my fault. See, they followed me. In my defense, look, without my braces, I do look slamming. Well, in a minute, you're going to look slammed. Oh. Wow, only Monday and already a D and Murray impromptu performance. D, why can't you let my mouth enjoy its newfound freedom? I mean, perhaps if you stop yapping yours for two seconds in a row. Well, now that they're drawn to your mouth, they're gonna notice this little bit of dirt. Oh, I'm sorry. That's your cute little try a mustache. Do you want my eyeliner to fill that in? So you're making fun of my stash now? <laughs> what stash? <laughs> you know, D. I can always take criticism from someone almost perfect. Excuse me? Did I just hear the A word? Yeah. I mean, you'd be completely perfect if it wasn't for... Well, the fact that you inherited... your mother's... buttocks. Houston, we have a problem. I can't believe you crossed the line. <laughs> Bronson Alcott's most permanent couple had broken up? My best friend was devastated. How much worse could this date get? Uh, okay, well, there's also uh, corporate law, criminal law, entertainment law. I myself am into environmental law. Um, uh, there's also patent law, copyright law, securities, um, corporate law. No, no, I already said that. Um, yes. How come English lawyers wear those girly wigs? Uh, okay. Um, well, in England, there are two types of lawyers, barristers and solicitors. Barristers can appear before the bar. How come when they're wearing them, some of their real hair sticks out? You can see it on the sides. Uh, interesting. Um, well, I don't know. Well, at least he's getting some questions. I'm, like, invisible, um, okay? Okay, Amber? I, I just wanted to say thank you. Because you made law sound really cool. And, well, you made me think that maybe I should be a lawyer. Really? Psych! <laughs> so boring. <laughs> Somebody called the lizard police. Josh had given a totally lame performance. I was mortified. But how could I think of myself when Dee was hurting so bad? What do they say? Be careful what you wish for? Dee and I were spending more time together, but I never wanted it to be like this. He sank into a bottomless abyss of bumming. Every time I think of you. Everything seems to remind her of Murray. And I'm still standing. Like girls getting paged. Miles away. And I'm wondering why you left me. 
baggy pants made her well up in tears. Even the mall reminded her of their favorite movies. And don't even mention the smell of chili fries. Two lovebirds back in the nest. You want me to what? Apologize. <laughs> Come on, Murray, you must mess her. Excuse me, ladies. All right, I am sorry. And I do miss her. But a man gets tired of not being appreciated. I mean, if Dee appreciated me, well, then she'd be here making this speech. Not you. Come on, Murray. Sure, yeah, forget about it. I'm not apologizing. As if. Oh, but you know that you miss her. Yeah, well, Cher, I miss culottes too. But I'm not going back to them either. Oh, Dee. Forget it. I'm not even sure I have feelings for him anymore. Okay. Well, do you want to come over for dinner? We're having shrimp. Shrimp? We went to kill a shrimp on our first date. <laughs> oh, Dee. Desperately needed a personal brainstorm. Cher, before you say anything, I know what happened. My speech was too dry. I have a whole new idea of how to approach it. Could this wait? I have a major love resuscitation to plan. No, but seriously, I got some videos of this really cool case I think they'll relate to. Chayette versus Stevie Wonder, where Chayette, a lesser composer, felt that Stevie's hit song duplicated his musical configuration. It's a really hip case. It's got rock music. I'm sure they'll enjoy it. Josh, you better put your pajamas on because you are so dreaming. to forge a Murray D. Truce. Cher, that is so Boutros, Boutros. Remember, Dee was totally stoked to enter Murray and Sassy's My Guy contest? Well, we'll do it for her. And when Murray sees it, he will feel way appreciated and be solidly smitten again. All we need is a way inspiring paragraph on why Murray's so sassy. Cher, they should have an exhibit on you in the Tripping Museum. If Murray needed to be wanted by Dee, my work was sure to make him the envy of every boy at Bronson Alcott High. I love my guy Murray because he's so many things to me. He's smart, he's funny, and he's got cuts so well defined they could be in the dictionary. But he's also got a sensitive side. Like he's not afraid to cry in front of me at the movies, and he loves animals. Vote for Murray. He puts the sass in sassy. And can you believe it? Sassy did put Murray in their next issue. Animals, <laughs> but that's not the best. Look, 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 check this out. I love my guy Murray because, because he's not afraid to cry. <laughs> but I meant that in a good way. People, people, evidence to the contrary. This is a classroom, so uh, please take your seats. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to have an impromptu exam known in the vernacular as a pop quiz. So, if you would take out a sheet of paper and a pencil, Sorry, good of you to join us. My bad, Mr. Hall, I missed the bus, man. <laughs> uh, the reason why I missed the bus was because my mom needed the car so she could go to the doctor's. Yes, please. Now, this is an institution of learning. And if a young man wants to cry or sob or weep, why should that be taboo? Great, man. You and Mr. Hall are on the same wavelength. Maybe you could start a men's group. <laughs> Murray, relax. Uh, maybe you just need one of these. <laughs> well, I think we've all had our fun for today, so now I'm going to put the questions to the pop quiz on the board. Oh. Sean, what's the deal? Why is everybody laughing at me like I'm some sort of dork? Uno momento. Bam! Mm-hmm. Handle your
your business. Go on. What are you doing putting my picture in this woman? What? I didn't put your hurting face in sassy. I don't even know why I'm wasting my breath. I'm not even talking to you. Sure. Do you hear some kind of buzzing, like an insect? Dee, Murray, it was me. You? you. I thought that maybe if I entered Murray in the contest, then he'd feel appreciated. And you guys could get back together again. Cher, who asked you to get involved? Oh, I'm outie. Dion! Oh, I'm so outie. Dion! Murray! Cher, you're turning my classroom into a three-ring circus. Sorry, I, I just, I feel so, so, so much like your brother. <laughs> My attempts for a D and Murray reproachment completely failed. Cher, you are on the bumming elevator and going down. What do you think? Hey, look. Plaid and floral. It clashes, yet it works. Inspiration. It would take a little sacrifice from the peers, but I finally had a plan for the great reconciliation. Okay, today's debate topic. Should the international language of diplomacy be English or French? Murray, you will take the English position. Lilia will take the French. Uh, Mr. Hall, I'm unprepared. Lilia, that's so unlike you. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to dock you half a grade for this assignment. Yes, sir. Amber? Okay. Ow! Uh, um, I can't. My, uh, my dog ate my oral presentation. Half a grade, Amber. Cher, I suppose you're unprepared. Way. Dion? Mega thanks, girls. You guys know I can't afford to lose half a grade. Okay. Murray. Okay. Why well, I think English should be the international language. It's simple, it's pleasant. Most of us speak it anyway. My favorite songs are in it. Duh, it should totally be French because France is stylish and sophisticated and way diplomatic. Diplomatic? France has the biggest attitude of any country, especially considering it's just a bunch of smelly cheeses and Jerry Lewis movies. Yeah, well the United States is big and stupid and full of prairies. Well, France doesn't think about anybody else except for itself. Well, ever since the United States got its braces off, it thinks it's all that. Well, maybe France should respect it a little bit more. Well, maybe the United States needs to pay a little bit more attention to France and make France feel like she has pretty countryside. Maybe the United States would if France made the United States feel more powerful instead of like some third world country. Well, maybe France thinks the United States is a superpower. She just needs a little respect. I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> Fuck you all that matters. Let's not fight again, okay? Okay. So Dee and Murray were reunited and it feels so good. <laughs> Even though it means spending less time with my significant best, the sacrifice is well worth it. D was happy again. Thanks for the treat, D. Thanks for the reunification plan, Cher. I guess I know I've been a little absent lately. Oh no, I understand. You're in a relationship. I I guess I've been a little forgetting that. No, I've been forgetting. You're my best friend. You're the one that's always gonna be around. There's a place for your boyfriend and your best. Here is to you and Murray. Here's to us. We rule. We totally rule. <laughs> Thanks, Cher. I owe you one, definitely. Oh! Never carry a mochaccino with new acrylics. I am a total Josh. Amber, I am so bored with your Josh bashing. Hey, chill. He's only your semi-used-to-be stepbrother or something. Still, he's family. And he is a total brain. And he knows exactly what he wants to do with his life. Which is more than I could say for you, Miss Supermodel Delusion. And I want you to know that I respect him for that. So just lay off, okay? Oh, whatever. Nothing is going to ruin this day. 
Wow. Respect? It's just an expression. An expression of respect. Well, it doesn't mean anything. You can totally respect lots of people. It doesn't mean that you like them. Yeah, but you did call me a brain. I meant it in a bad way. <laughs> Good argument, counselor. Oh, and you are always so articulate. I hope that you get into Yale or Harvard Law School. Which one's further? I'm the closest. No, I worry about these two. Think we should break this up? I don't know. That's just the way they are. They really like each other. They just don't know how to communicate like we do. I'm the only good influencer. <laughs>